My name is Raymond and today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to upload your publication onto your website without using our built-in FTP uploader. So to start off, you will need a publication of your own. So one that you have already completed all your work on and you're ready to publish. When you're ready, hit publish. Name your book. This is very important. You have to make sure you name it right and you have to remember the name. And then choose an output folder where you, you're going to have the files and click publish now. After it's been published, click on view or open folder. And then it'll open a window with that links to your output folder and then the folder that has all your files. So if you notice, the folder that has all your files is also the name you called your book. So you're going to need to upload all this onto your website in whatever way uh, you can using any other third party software. Uh, I'm going to be using Windows built in uh, FTP software. So, um, pretty much to do this, just go back up one folder. So, you're in the tutorial folder right now. Go back up one to the demo folder, and you'll see the tutorial folder. And then I right here I already have um, the FTP connection established uh, with Windows so all I had to do when I log in it brings me to this window I just navigate to my folder that I want so I'm going to use this test pub folder I double click inside these are all the other publications that you that I have already published using either this method or the FTP uploader so all you ha I have to do or all you have to do is just make sure you drag this entire folder the entire generated output folder onto your website so this would be representing your website so all these files are actually on your website so you just drag the tutorial folder over on this side drag drop let it copy but just to save on time and just so you guys don't have to sit here and watch files copy um, I've done it ahead of time so as you can see here tutorial if you go into the tutorial folder you can see that I have all the same files just copied over onto this website. Now comes the really tricky part. Since you're not using the actual FTP uploader on our uh, built into ePage Creator, you don't actually get a URL link. So without the URL link, you won't be able to know how to link people to your publication. So this is where you have to make sure you have all these folders or subfolders that are in uh, on your website correctly all uh, case sensitive and everything so if I open a web browser and HTTP flip all dot net that's uh, the name of our website and um, slash test is the general folder that uh, that uh, that is in you have to figure if you're not sure you have to make sure you talk to whoever is hosting your website so uh, whatever web domain you're using you have to make sure you contact them let them know ask them to tell you if there's any like special folder that your uh, websites in so because if you don't have if I don't have this test here if I didn't know then you're missing one part of information and it will not link to your website so after you have flipmall.net slash test that's the general folder and if you go back here you can see that this window right now I'm in is flipmall.net slash test this is this is what I see now here comes the other tricky part so test pub is the first subfolder that my file my folder is in so at the add slash test pub remember capital same all capital then I go into test pub and within test pub is where I have the tutorial folder so I need to create one for the tutorial folder so I just do slash tutorial and then 
enter. Right when I click enter, it'll access the tutorial folder that's on here. And it'll automatically open index.html. So, because it has index.html, it'll automatically open, and there you go. Automatically open. Um, this is how you would have to generate your own URL link if you're not using uh, FT, the built-in FTP uploader because you won't have the URL generated for you. So, as I was saying, you have to make sure your domain, your general folder, or whatever folders that your thing is in. So this you have to find out on your own. Um, contact your web domain or whoever is hosting your website. Make sure you get the first part correct. After you get the first part correct, then it's just a matter of directing it to the right folder. So I, I put my tutor my generated file in a folder called testpub. And within testpub, I have my tutorial folder that has all my files. So I link it to the tutorial folder. And within the tutorial folder, it has index.html. So once the website navigates all the way to the tutorial folder, it'll know that index.html is in there, so it'll automatically open up that file. And as you can see on screen, after it opens the file, it opens to my publication that I just published. And, and it opens. This is how you would upload your publication onto your website without using our built-in FTP uploader. Thank you for watching.